Well, well, look, either of you can answer. Whoever wants to answer, go for it. But uh, it wasn't long since you were in New Zealand last time. No, we came uh, 18 months, two years ago, something like that. And it had been quite a big gap before that. So did you sort of did you get re-enthused about this part of the world? Or? Um, well, when we first started, 97, 98, we came here uh, once or twice, two years in a row, and then there was a bit in the middle where we did a couple of acoustic tours, but not full band tours. It just got pretty expensive to go everywhere in the world. Um, so uh, we came back on the last run, which was like a two-year tour, and this is like a 15-month tour, and this it's worked its way back in. But yeah, it's just a good place to come, you know. Is it nice coming to some of the smaller territories and, and seeing the fans pop out of the woodwork? Well, when you come to Australia and New Zealand, obviously you've got 50% Aussies and Kiwis, but the other half are expats, really. So um, it's a good place to come. I mean, you know, the guys that made our first three records were Kiwis. Um, so it, it, it's very similar to living in Wales in many ways. Normally bands actually pass through and if they do it becomes quite a big spectacle you know what I mean so um, we kind of appreciate that from from both ends of the spectrum really you guys you, you release albums pretty prolifically and tour as well I suppose are you writing as you're touring because it seems to be that you tour for ages and then there's always a new album popping out sort of every sort of year and a half it seems yeah well this is our seventh studio album we've we've been around the world uh, probably about seven or eight times since 1996. So during the time we tour in one album, songs generally get written. So by the time we get back home, uh, we jump back in the studio and then there's a new record and then off we go again, really. So yeah, every two years has pretty much been the pattern so far. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that. Do you agree with that? Whatever, whatever he answered, that was right. He Not can't even hear what I'm answers. saying, but yeah. Do you ever feel like taking a bit of a, a break? Because it is a pretty full-on schedule. Oh, it's full-on on paper. Um, but, you know, we do go back every three weeks. Every two, three weeks. And then... Uh, we've never... No, we've never been a band that wanted to take four years off or take a year out. Or You know, we. this is what we do. This is what we've always done. And we, we like doing it. Um, it's not really a hobby. Uh, it's not really a job. I don't know what it is. It's just what we do, really. Uh, your so, hobby versus job. Yeah, you, you kind of get into your own routine, really. You know, like when it feels natural to do stuff, you tend to want to go and do it. You know, like when it feels right to go in the studio, you jump in the studio. Is, is it quite weird? I mean, since you started, a lot of bands that were around when you um, began are, are no longer with us. They're sort of broken up or something's happened. Is that quite odd looking around you? They got no stamina. No stamina. We knew that from the start. We knew they'd all be gone by now. That's the trouble. No stamina. Is it just, no is it stamina. Just, is it just laziness? Just laziness. A lot of bands get signed and they think that's it. You know, make the first album, think the rest will fall into place. You know, they go out plucking songs off trees. But it's not really how it works. Um, but now, I mean, we've we had some great bands with our contemporaries, but we love being around the new bands as well, and and we love being around the older bands as well. I mean, music's music. I mean. You'd only last in any business or any game if you put the effort in, really. You know, and we've we've tried to change styles on every record and tried to move this forward as many ways as we can. And, and I think half of us, you know, feel that we haven't even achieved a lot of what we want to do yet, really. I mean, so. what, I mean, what the heck else do you want to achieve? Because I mean, you've, you've you've toured with so many. I mean, massive names. You've got a, a real loyal audience. I mean, what else ideally would you like, I guess? Well, it's about music, and I mean, every record we've made, when we brought out the greatest hits last year and we had to compile that, it was quite obvious that each song off each album was very different from the one before. And I think, you know, people don't really see that when, you, when it's happening at the time, but when you actually go back and, you know, compile them all and listen to them back to back, it's quite a very different style from record to record. And I think there's a lot of music that we, we haven't yet recorded styles we haven't yet done and uh, I think that's what excites us the most really you know just finding new things to say and new things to do and that's the kind of ongoing challenge for, for the band and how big or how small or how much radio play or how many records you sell especially now is becoming less and less 
relevant in many ways. It, you know, the live market allows you to be much more musical, much more free to do what you want to do, and, and you have to wait for that cycle to come back round so it fits for guitar music again at the minute. It's very female pop orientated, and you have to kind of wait your turn again a little bit, you know what I mean? Two years ago, it was all kids in skinny jeans and pointy shoes, but they've all been seen in the job centre of late, signing on. But we're still here, waiting our turn. What, what, I mean, what do you think about the, the Lady Gaga's and that sort of thing who are, who are massive at the moment? She's a great ass. She's got a fabulous ass. I stood, you know, stood like five foot behind this, fabulous. They are the pop stars, aren't they? And you know, like, I think the music industry needs icons. And you know, like, if, if people create icons that way, then it's brilliant. And Madonna, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, they all do it their own unique ways. I think it's totally different for bands, you know, like how bands do it is through their music usually rather than through their style and, uh, and their performance. Justin Bieber, any thoughts on someone like that who comes out of nowhere? I'm just curious what you, what you think. No, I haven't got any like thoughts that. on Justin Bieber actually. Not one single jot of a thought. Blank, blankness. If I knew who he was, I could comment. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a lot of good music out at the minute. I think even the pop music, I think, is is of a good standard. You know what I mean? It's good songwriting. Any other bands you're particularly excited about? Uh, I like the new Jamie T record. I like that Plan B record, which apparently has gone into number one this week. So I was I was ahead of the curve there with that one. Uh, the new else? Slash album is really good. The new Slash album. That's all that's right. Pretty, that's a pretty unique thing, eh? Slash. A cool idea having a guitarist and having all those different vocalists coming in. It is. He did it. He slash. He slash. Yeah. And what's next for you guys after um, playing here? You got a couple of sold-out shows. Yeah, we've uh, we've just done Europe, the UK, Australia, do the two New Zealand shows, and then we go down to Japan, and then Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and then the European festivals. See, in New Zealand, we're pretty happy that you guys wrote a song down here many years ago. Do you think you'll ever um, pen another track inspired by? Naughtiness. Our fine country <laughs> and, the, and the naughtiness that goes on here. Yeah. Well, I hope so, because we do like naughtiness, and uh, we were only mentioning that last night. So you never know what happens in these two days. That's the thing. You never know when inspiration hits. You just have to be ready with the red button. Nice. Well, look, thanks, guys. Thanks for sitting so calmly. Right there. I know. That's all right. I feel like I might. We should do like. Uh, Sting's wife and do some yoga on the grass or something. <laughs> it is very uh, There are groups that come down here and do yoga. I can imagine that. And I've seen uh, one of those medieval um, reenactment fights go on down here. Have you? Where people get the swords. That's pretty amazing. I quite like that. Um, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty full on. Yeah.